So this is my solo trip to Bay of Islands from Hamilton. So I've got my early morning bus from Hamilton and at 7 o'clock my first halt is in Auckland. In good morning Auckland, so we are in Auckland now. Um, so it's actually 7 a.m. So Burian Coffee is taking you to Bay of Islands this time. So this first vlog is gonna cover my travel from Hamilton to Bay of Islands. So this is my travel day. So good morning, so I am now, this is like 7 o'clock and at this time I'm in Auckland. I'm like waiting for my transfer. I'm just waiting for my next bus to Pahia to arrive. I'm just having my morning coffee from one of the tea stalls in Auckland bus station and then just waiting. So it was really nice trip, like very early morning trip, like 4.20 to um, 7 o'clock in, 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 in the bus. It was like really, really awesome. So what, what more? I'm just waiting for my bus and when my bus comes, we're going to go to Bahia. Then that's going to be a really, really long trip. So let's go. So that's my bus coming in. Number two, bus to Karikari, Fangrai, Bahia. So this is my bus, which is already here. I'm just gonna give my luggage and then get into. So we are starting from Auckland to Bahia. That's Sky City again. So this is Auckland City. time busy city of New Zealand so we are going from Auckland to Bahia now this is my bus it is really cozy nice seating like enough leg space I love it so this bus is like really good it's really comfortable so um, about my trip from Hamilton to Pahia it was like seven hours and then 20 30 minutes so what I did that was I got my early morning bus like 420 so from Hamilton to Auckland and from there I got into this bus so it was like just one single ticket which I got from the Intercity app so the travel was like from Hamilton to Auckland there was like a normal Intercity bus but from Auckland to Pahia this bus is like really really comfortable This is an intercity bus. So this is how the seating is. This is the bottom, and that is where our driver lives. Now he's on his break. So this is a bus, and my seat was actually upstairs. I was on the top. Like here. Pahia. So this is Pahia. What do you see behind is Pahia. See this is Pahia and the building that you see behind is the maritime building and behind me is the ferry. This is from where the ferry operates to uh, different islands. So Bay of Islands is like it, it comprises of a lot of islands and right now I'm in Pahia. From, so from Pahia people do go to different places. Uh, so this is from where you're gonna get your ferry. So I've got my accommodation somewhere near. It's like 11 minutes walk. So I'm gonna find where to go, get there, check in there, and then get out and explore this place. So finally, I'm in Pahia. So it is 12, yeah, 12 o'clock. Uh, 12 p.m. I reach here. I started from Hamilton at around 4.20, like 4.30 more in the morning. And I reach here at like 12 o'clock. So I'm just gonna find my way and then We'll see you.
So when you come to Pahia, you have your information center right in the center. So the information center is behind me, I side, the information center. And this place is really, 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 really beautiful. And it's like really uh, an amazing tourist destination. So if you go to the information center, the I side, you can know when the ferry is leaving. So I've already got my ferry timetable. So, so I'm actually planning to go to Russell from Pahia. So you can take ferry. It will be like not that expensive. You can go to Russell via ferry and this is a timetable. So the last ferry from Russell back to Pahia is at 10 o'clock. So I'm not gonna stay there until 10 o'clock definitely. So, but then I've still got my timetable because I'll, I'll have to plan, right? I, sh I shouldn't be getting lost there because my accommodation is in Pahia. And from the uh, information center, I've got my map. So what is highlighted in green is, um, here you have, you can go to the, the White Angi Treaty Grounds, which is, the most important place for New Zealand why the the Treaty of Waitangi was signed in this place and the treaty grounds are still here and that is one of the major tourist attraction there is a fee for entrance because they have recently done some modifications for that so yeah that is a, the, the thing which you can do nearby and then there's a lot of tour um, agents here like the Great Fullers and then a lot of others like Explore. I can see a lot of them. But So I've booked my uh, tours with Great Fullers, Great, Fullers Great Sites. So I've just when they got my tickets for tomorrow done everything all sorted so I can just go on my tours from tomorrow. So for today I'm gonna go for things which are like free, cheap things in here so gonna find some food walk around there's such a beautiful beach here we'll see what is in Bahia there's a beautiful propeller there's no sign so that I can read what it is about that looks like a propeller if I'm not wrong if my if my knowledge is right 